So you think... A mysterious unknown object flies by in the background. Hey family, hope you guys are doing great and safe. I'm back with another video. So fasten your seat belts. Let's get started. It's all morning and I don't have time for this today. It's stop. Hey buddy. We I don't I got too much going on. You gotta cut it out. <laughs> video was posted on Reddit and the door okay. is opening by itself again and again. In this video we can also hear the man saying, cut it out. Too much going on today. Is this man aware that his house is haunted and still he is living in the house or is this video staged? Let's watch the video and don't forget to leave your thoughts. Calm down. He's okay. Please, not today. Just, holy cow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Little buddy. Video is coming from Facebook and as per the description of the video, the location is Greece. Salt water and battery is a deadly combination. You can see in the video what happened. So you think turtles are slow, huh? Go ahead, buddy. This is little Lakai. Lakai is a Vietnamese black-breasted leaf turtle. Very small species, typically only fully grown at around four or four and a half inches. And they are very quick eaters and hunters for that matter. Earthworms or night crawlers are a favored food item by them. And little Lakai here is wasting no time to suck this giant worm down. <laughs> Look at that. Like a scene from Lady in the Tramp. Ooh, and a bubble. <laughs> they also have googly eyes. Some people refer to them as the eyes of an owl. This is for sure the lowest car in the world. I'm not sure how they are managing to drive this car. If this car is a remote controlled car, what do you think? Video is coming from Reddit. This is the beautiful moment a 29 year old rescue chimpanzee sees the sky for the first time, having spent entire life in the cage. In February 2021, the Brazilian news show Brazil Urgente were conducting an interview live on air when they inadvertently captured something truly mysterious on film. A mysterious unknown object flies by in the background. When the show went to air, thousands of Brazilian locals noticed the strange object and began riding into the station. Before long, the mysterious sighting made worldwide headlines, with news outlets speculating on what the UFO might be. So, let me know what you think this is in the comments down below. This is a frog. After eating a firefly, you can see the firefly is still eating. This clip is coming from Facebook. I'm not sure what happened next. (laughs) 
We have seen various videos in which it is shown that water is coming from the sky and this video claims that too. But I don't think so. I think it's some kind of waterfall from where the water is coming. What are your thoughts? Have you seen hippos eating their food? Let's watch this video. Video is coming from YouTube. This guy sets up the camera in order to catch a ghost. As soon as he gets upstairs, there's some kind of shadow that can be seen following him on the stairs. And then we can see some kind of entity watching through the door. A big shout out and special thank you to Michael Balcott, Giselle Van, TCF70, XX Nighthawks, Gitpick, Keith Anderson and Sarah Goz for joining the channel membership. You can also join the channel membership and get a shout out like this. Click on join button and check it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nothing. Nowadays, we see unexpected things on the road. What will be your reaction if you see something like this? This is a female blanket octopus that is rarely ever seen by anyone because they are deep sea octopus. The females are 10,000 times larger than the males and they're way prettier too. This female has probably already laid her eggs and is wandering off to die. This is the natural rare phenomena of a sunset on this cumulombus cloud. These scientists are making foam from algae, and it could be a game changer for a type of pollution that has a much larger footprint than most people realize, flip-flops. They're the world's most popular shoe, and they're piling up on beaches and in the ocean. The process for turning algae into flip-flops is surprisingly simple. The shoe consists of a footbed made from flexible foam, an outsole made of a more rigid foam, and a cotton strap. To make the foam pieces, the researchers use an industrial machine to mix together compounds created from algae oil. The machine pours the mixture into molds. The team then applies heat and the foam expands into the shape of a shoe. They wait about 10 minutes for the foam to cure, then peel the pieces out and assemble the finished product. You put the strap through here and you put the back two parts here, you glue that on and then this entire thing glues and that's it. That's all the shoe is. So the manufacturing of these things is also really straightforward. A man sat on a female passenger's lap multiple times as he claimed that the woman Joe slid his son in a train carriage in China's Hunan province.
This is Phoenix Caradil, a deep sea creature like a cinnamon roll. This video was captured near Mapating Cave, Philippines. Another video of China claiming that a six-year-old boy from northern China held up a broken ladder and prevented his father from falling. His calmness in the situation impressed many on mainland social media. As I've mentioned a lot of times before that these kind of videos are specially made to impress the world from China, what do you think? kind of breed of dog this is as one of the biggest destination for tourists osaka japan has a highly synchronized monorail system in the world He is the fastest world record holder climber in the world, Vadik Leonardo. Rising sea levels are slowly submerging the Indonesian village of Simaraja in West Java. According to the West Chief, 6 km that is 4 miles of the coast along its border have already been eroded in the last two decades. The remaining residents are working hard to build defenses to protect their homes from the next high tide. Keras yang lebih pantu lah itu banyak menghadapi hambatan karena pertama landasan apa pantai pantai yang landai pantai di daerah pantu kayu lalu juga berhadapan dengan laut yang dangkal atau dangkal lalu juga berhadapan dengan laut yang mempunyai karakteristik gelombang tinggi M2 itu dua kali per Saya udah habis 100 lebih karena setiap setiap hari kalau tiap pasang saya pasang ada 20 cuma tetap aja kekuatan Ya kalau di rekan-rekan itu mah ya apa ya Ya banyak sih bangsa, puluhan juta mah habis, habis kalau karung kecil, kalau enggak ini, bentar-bentar habis kalau emak. Itu sekali dangdut itu 300 bagian.
itu sekitar 470 rumah yang sudah ada relokasi itu eh, sekitar 164 rumah penanganan dari pemerintah desa itu hanya eh, kita hanya kan anggaran terbatas kita dengan eh, membangun turap-turap pantai gitu turap-turap laut untuk dan eh, I always admire and appreciate your support, but this time I'm not getting more views on the video. So I'll request you to share the video on one of the platform like WhatsApp or Facebook. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care. Peace. Bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel. You can find the link in the description below.